A vital tool for monitoring some severe weather-related issues across the state will no longer be available. Tonight, the impact it could have on public safety. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Kenny Choi. Paula Akana has the night off. The National Weather Service is deeply concerned about the planned discontinuation of at least 16 rain and stream gauges across the state. The gauges help the Weather Service determine flood and other warnings to keep the public safe. As KITV4's Jody Leong tells us, the U.S. Geological Survey says budget cuts mean there will be gaps in flood monitoring. The Hanalei Bridge on Kauai is often closed during heavy rains as dangerous floodwaters rise. Otake Camp on Oahu, often evacuated as a swollen Kaukonahua stream threatens to overflow nearby. But rain and stream gauges in these areas are on the chopping block. There's no money, so now we're cutting the really, really important things. The U.S. Geological Survey is discontinuing at least 16 gauges starting next month because it is losing $250,000 in funding by various federal, state, and county agencies. And now we're to the point where most everything we cut is critically important. And so it's, it's, they're very, very hard choices are being made. It's, you're no longer cutting fat, you're hitting meat and bone now. The National Weather Service says it heavily depends on USGS gauges to complement its more than 80 rain and stream gauges and a radar system. We may be able to see an area with the radar data, but the gauges help us validate that the radar data are accurate. That's the concern for Hanalei, which does not have a good radar picture. But the USGS is cutting the rain gauge there, creating a blind spot for the Weather Service. We're losing quality data uh, that we use quite a bit for um, during heavy rains and flash flooding situations. Kodama is also concerned about the loss of a gauge in South Fork Kaukonahua in Wahiawa. That feeds into, into Lake Wilson, and when that overflows, that causes flooding down in Otake Camp. And so when we lose any part of the picture, it has an impact. The gauges are set to be discontinued on October 1st. Jody Leon, KITV4 News. Now, the Weather Service is also concerned about the impact on the collection of long-term data on the climate and invasive species. 